Over my past 15 years of working with coaches and helping them create their coaching program, I have seen them fall into the trap of making this mistake over and over and over again. And I don't want the same to be true for you. So I'm going to tell you what is the number one mistake that I've seen coaches make whenever they're creating their program and what you can do to avoid making this mistake. So if this pertains to you, stay tuned and enjoy this video. Hey there, welcome back. I am your host, your funnel extraordinaire, your biz bestie, your girl Jay with Jay Black & Co. And on this video, we're going to talk about that number one mistake that I see a lot of coaches make, especially new coaches make whenever they're creating their program, their coaching program. And what we do here at Jay Black & Co to help you to avoid falling in the trap of that mistake. Now, what we do here at Jay Black & Co, we partner with coaches, consultants, and other service providers who are amazing at what they what they do, but they want to build, strengthen, and grow their businesses into sustainable powerhouses. And we do that by using dynamic funnels, dynamic offers, and dynamic systems. So the number one mistake that I see coaches make time and time again is that they want to create a coaching program that is the end all be all for all you cannot create a solution for everyone that's in your niche it's not possible um, let me tell you why it's not possible It's because you may have something let's say if you are a health and wellness coach that specializes in creating keto diets. Well, what makes up a keto friendly diet for me as a woman um, that's approaching my middle age? Now, let's not talk about that. But still, if you're creating a keto diet for me, I might, my, my body composition and my hormones and my needs may be different than a guy. The strains on my life may be different than someone who is a lot older or someone who is a lot younger than I am. I may have my family to um, that depends on me that I need to take care of. I may have my business or I might have um, my nine to five that's pulling on me. That's something that's totally different than someone who is either retired or who's in college. So those may have to be other factors that you have to factor in when creating your coaching program. Or there may be something that's different for a guy than for a woman. Like a guy may need more protein, so how can he have a keto diet that lends to more protein as opposed to me or vice versa or something that's going to help me with my hormones and balancing those out as opposed to a guy. So those are things that you're going to have to factor in whenever you're creating your coaching program. Okay, so if you're trying to be all things to all people, then you're going to have to fill your coaching program for all these different people and their needs. So you have to be very clear about who out of your niche, out of your audience, are you going to create your coaching program for. Now, your coaching program is the creme de la creme of all that you offer, okay? It's going to be that offer that has a ton of value, that brings a punch, that is the like booster pack that they put on that's going to get them to their ultimate transformational goal. It's not something that's going to be, 
you know, a little fly by night, something that's easy breezy that's going to get them over a little hump. It's going to be the end all be all that's going to get them this specific person to where they desire to be. Okay, and you know that about your your coaching offer, your coaching program. I'm sure you all have gone over that in your coaching certification program or your coaching school that you've attended or the academy that you've attended. Um, so you know that this needs to be full of value. And what makes it special to your audience is that it's full of value for this specific person. So let's go over the things that you will need to do in order to avoid making this big mistake. The number one thing that you need to do in order to avoid the mistake of creating a coaching program that's for everyone is to be very clear about who it is for to have one specific person, let's start off with one. Yes, it can grow into more than one profile, but I want you to start off with one, especially if you are a new coach. Start off with one ideal client avatar or profile, okay? And I want you to extend beyond the demographics of what age she is, where she lives, her geography, or her background and things like that. I want you to push yourself beyond that. I want you to focus on what her fears are, what are her frustrations, what are the things that she says to herself and no one else? What are the things that she says to her close friend, her close business friend, or things that she will tell in private to her coach or her therapist or to her husband or to her mate or partner, or whatever the case is? What are those secret conversations like that she's willing to admit? And what are those things that she's not really ready to admit to anyone. Being clear on these things are going to help you not only in your, your marketing messaging and helping you overcome any objections or anything like that, but it's also going to help you in knowing what to add into your coaching program. It's gonna help you understand what type of support will work best for this ideal client. If you have absolutely no idea or you're trying to be everything to everyone, then you're gonna throw in the kitchen sink and that's going to demand more on you, demand more on your team, and that can be overwhelming to your audience. Um, imagine if you throw the kitchen sink into this coaching program and they're like, okay, well, no, I didn't need all these things, but I paid for all of these things, so I want all of these things. That's that can probably put them behind as opposed to helping them in creating um, the the journey that's needed in order for them to reach their ultimate goal. So you want to offer just enough value that's going to make them feel supported, make them feel uh, safe and cherished in this community, but ultimately it's going to help them get to their transformational goal. The thing that they want most out of this program. So let me give you an example using my business, okay? So with J Black & Co, my niche would be coaches, consultants, service providers who are client-centric, relationship oriented, um, but they struggle with creating a steady stream of quality clients and qualified clients into their business to purchase their high ticket offers, okay? That's my niche. Now let's say I want to create a program that is going to address the problem of creating ideal client avatars, okay? If I'm doing that and that's my goal and that's something that my audience needs, I'm not going to focus on the tech aspect or systems aspect. I'm going to look directly at their fears and frustrations, their aspirations, their desires, right? So I am going to speak to and create a program 
around, let's say, the fact that they have consultations and they're not able to book them or the people who book them are no-shows or the fact that they do get people who purchase their high ticket offer or their coaching programs but these people do not show up to their calls or they don't do their homework. I will focus on these frustrations and I will speak to these frustrations not only in my marketing messaging but I will create chapters within my coaching program that speaks to these fears, aspirations, um, frustrations, desires, and things of that nature. You see where I'm getting at? So you don't want to just look at your ideal client as the demographics. You wanna push further into what makes this person tick, what's making this person so frustrated, what's keeping this person up at night, and then start from there and branch out and create your coaching program. The second area that's going to help you avoid the mistake of creating something for everyone is for you to understand your program promise. What is this program going to help your ideal client do? What is it going to help them to avoid? What will it not do? Um, what would be the end result? How should they feel at the end? What will they be able to do? What is the next step for them at the end? You need to know where they are starting whenever they come into your program and what they should be able to do at the end of the program. And you need to know why they need this program. This is gonna help you develop your program promise and you can tell them if you do these things the way that I am instructing you, if you follow this journey, if you follow this process, you should be able to yeah, 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 dot, dot. That will qualify your prospects and tell them whether, you know, they should purchase this or they shouldn't purchase this and they should either go somewhere else or purchase something else from you. This is a great way for you to shift out people who are best fitted for your coaching program. If you're trying to be the catch all things, then guess what? You're gonna catch all things. Now, all of those things in your net may not be what you want in your coaching program. And I'm gonna say this right here. This, if you are a person who is or like, I really don't care, Jay, I just need to make some money, then I would say you're in the coaching business for all the wrong reasons. You should want to help those who are best qualified for your, your program. And your program should be best qualified to help said people. Okay, this should be a great match, a great marriage between what you're offering and what you can do as a coach and what these people need and what they desire, what they fear and where they want to go. It should be a perfect marriage, a perfect relationship between the two. So you need to be very clear on your brand promise and this is going to help you a great deal when you're selling your coaching program. Now, my last key to help you to avoid this drastic mistake whenever you're creating your coaching program is that you need to know their transformational journey. Now, this is a, a phrase that I've coined that helps coaches in, in creating a lot of different things in their business, whether it's creating a low ticket, mid ticket, high ticket offer, creating your marketing messaging, creating your program promise, so on and so forth. It's going to save you a great deal. And it's also going to help you know where you fit in with your, your audience and with your prospects and your clients. The transformational journey is where they are in their pain whenever they run across your, your business, your company. Where is Where are they in their pain at the very beginning where they would be perfect 
to start working with you. Now, it could be at the lower level, it could be at the higher level, but I would suggest at the lower level because you want them to grow into something else, right? So where are they in that pain? Is it that I have, you know, the the um, COVID or the pandemic 15 that I'm trying to, to lose? Um, I just gave birth and I have this extra weight, or I just got divorced, or I'm thinking about a divorce. How do I go through the process of divorce? Um, I just got divorced and I wanna get my groove back. How do I do that? Wherever your audience is, where do they start in this journey with you, okay? And then what's the next step, okay? And once they get there, then what's the next step? Okay, knowing these different steps lets you know what challenges they are facing. It lets you know what types, of, what type of support you need to offer, and you need to. And it also lets you know how deep your coaching needs to be involved in their process. Um, some things really don't need you at all. They uh, a course or some handouts, workbooks, thing videos. Those things can help them work through this obstacle, this challenge that they're facing. Something is gonna need a little bit more, some one-on-one sessions, some group coaching from you. Um, it's gonna need a total retreat, like we need to get you away <laughs> and get you some space so you can focus and be able to get grounded again before you move to the next step. Whatever the case is, it lets you know on this journey where they are and where they need you the most. So whenever you have clearly identified the transformational journey that gets them from the pain island to the full uh, transformation uh, pleasure island, you need to know those several stepping stones that's gonna help them get there. And you need to know where your program fits in this journey, okay? So once you've identified that, then you can build out, okay, so these are the areas where they're going to meet some challenge. So I think a one-on-one -on -one call is going to fit in great there. Or at this uh, point, they're going to have tons of questions about this. So I think a group call will be great there. What, see, knowing these different areas in the journey lets you know where you need to space out your support how much support is needed. If you need to pull in outside help, it lets you know that as well. So fully plan out the transformational journey first and then go into creating your coaching program. Okay, now I've walked you through three ways that you can avoid making one of the biggest mistakes that coaches make whenever they're creating their coaching program, which is trying to make one thing that fits everybody. Your coaching program should not be a one size fits all. It's not going to. It's going to be too much for some people and not enough for others. And it is going to really wear you out it's gonna wear your team out, it's gonna be overwhelming for them and frustrating for them. And your whole point as a coach is to alleviate stress, alleviate um, the, the, the frustration and the overwhelm. It's to take from that and to give them peace, to give them direction, to help them find the answers within themselves that's going to push them towards their ideal goal and ideal better self. So creating a program that's a one size fits all, it's not the move to make. It's not great financially, nor business wise. It's not a great look. So I hope you found this very informative and helpful. If you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments down below. I would love it if you would like uh, this video, if you want to get more on how you can create a better coaching program and a high ticket offer and create a funnel that's going to stream more qualified and quality clients 
to this amazing program that you're about to create, then go ahead and click subscribe and join the community. Um, I'm going to go ahead and list in the description below the link and how you can contact me and my team. So if you want to create that specialized offer, if you want to create that high ticket offer funnel, then we are the company that you need on your team to get that done, okay? That's it. That's the end of another video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for, so much for watching. You could have been doing anything else in the world, but you chose to spend this time with me. And I am forever touched and grateful. Until next time, y'all. Bye.